Hi Aries, welcome to your March 2023 general reading. Thanks for joining me. My name is Michelle and this is for Sun and Rising Signs. Aries, I'm restarting my podcasts with this reading for March. So if you're listening on Apple, Spotify and Amazon Music, welcome. Let's take a look as the overall energy for you Aries. I've got this card of listen. Now immediately what I'm getting around this is that you need to listen to this reading. reading. Stop what you're doing, put it down and pay attention. Okay, that's what I'm getting there very loudly from spirit. Because with this energy of the brownie, as you're familiar for the month of March, now this is energy that can either help or hinder you moving forward in what you want to pursue in the month of March. So there's a need for you, and this is what Spirit wants you to hear, so listen, pay attention. You are protected from that which you feel is going to be taken from you by another. Now, I do get for a lot of you, there's a feeling here of a, a loss of control or a lack of control when it comes to things that you are feeling is is valuable to you now that could be a job it could be a career it could be a, a person a relationship but spirit is saying you are protected there are things moving behind the scenes that you are, aren't aware of but you are being protected now that being said spirit wants you to come in with your fair share here and protect yourself uh, to not do anything that will leave yourself in a vulnerable state when it comes to that which you value most so as long as you do that i feel that you're going to be fine there's a sense of ease around you it doesn't have to be as hard as you as you feel it's going to be there's a strong inner core areas that i'm feeling around you it's a solid base a solid foundation that is going to stay with you stick with you this inner core so there's a strong energy here of not doing anything to affect the solidity of this core self now that could be you it could be you uh, what i'm getting from spirit uh, doing something that could unintentionally cause this inner core to crack open and for things to be lost is what I'm getting from spirit you don't want that to happen you want to maintain that strong base that solid inner core now we could be talking about a job as well we could be talking about a, a some kind of um, career a career that, uh, that let's put it in terms of clients uh, you don't you want to keep a solid base of clients you don't want them to to leave you you don't want them to go to to somewhere else you want them to stick with you whereas the person down the street is offering a coupon you know um it feels like that it feels like maintaining this this base you're going to be able to do it as long as you don't do anything that um that causes i'm getting this from spirit that causes anyone to feel slighted um injured but i'm not feeling like a, a personal injury it feels more like a um uh something where somebody feels yeah slighted put down uh, yeah you, you, you want to make sure that you keep this this core healthy keep that core healthy make sure it's supported make sure it's nourished uh, be consistent be persistent the magician yeah because you're a powerful person a powerful influencer i'm getting that for some of my areas so you have to have self-belief and trust in your own abilities to to keep this uh, to keep this base to keep these clients to keep uh, to keep your business going to keep uh, moving towards success you have a solid base spirit says don't uh, do anything that could disrupt that the magician card is and i'm seeing him here actually with this uh, this energy this feels very much like a shamanic energy 
the shaman, the power of the shaman is with you. I don't mean the toilet paper, guys. <laughs> I mean the shaman, I mean a spirit, a powerful spirit. I feel like I'm talking to an Aries here who has a very strong spiritual connection. And there's a powerful energy of, of needing to listen to the messages that are coming through right now because it's uh, the messages are positive the messages are real the messages are truth i feel like the messages that are coming through are telling you that you're going to be okay uh, to uh, um, that you're going to be fine that things are going to be to be good for you so aries if you felt like things were going downhill in terms of your career or your business or your life in general spirit is saying no you're you're in this spirit you're under this spell of enchantment you're the enchanted one you're the one that that's that's the lucky one you're going spirit is on your side um, there's a spell of enchantment around you invoke invoke the spirit of enchantment uh, see yourself as as the the lucky one see yourself as someone who is um, doing well and will continue to do well i feel for a lot of you aries there's an energy around you of thinking oh gosh is this the best i can do is this the is this all i can do is have i reached the top spirit is saying no you've got uh, you've got more success to come uh, more exciting things more things to fulfill you uh it's like you're the chosen one here aries wow uh, how brilliant is that? Let, let's take a look at this uh, enchantment that I'm feeling around you. The lovers. Oh. Okay. Well, my my guide is telling me this. This because you are in this energy, you're going to attract a lot of people to you that are going to be in love with you, fall in love with you. Aries stands to reason. <laughs> But right now I'm getting an energy of, of uh, it's, it's better to be uh, more of a solitary energy. Yeah. Now some of you are probably not going to like that message, but that's, that's the message that I'm getting from Spirit, that uh, it's better for you to be alone. Uh, I think you, you're good on your own. I feel that, uh, that you're perfectly uh, happy, content. Uh, it's, it, it seems to be a place where you can manifest your dreams, your goals. Uh, I get you having a very clear focus on, on your life purpose. Yes. So when it comes to love right now, you're going to be attracted, attracting a lot to you. But Aries, it's completely up to you, but Spirit is saying maybe it would be best to focus on, um, on, on self right now. Uh, and I'm also getting this from Spirit. I'm getting an image of someone looking in the mirror and not liking what they see in terms of their physical self. They like who they are as a person, but they don't like their physical self. So there may be something here where someone's um, someone's working on their outer core. Like the inner core is fine, healthy, but the outer shell of a person um, there, there's a like getting in shape or maybe buying some new outfits or changing your hair or something like that it feels it feels like that guys yeah it's um it's just an energy of uh, confidence you know having the outer match the inner for some of you that's going to give you the boost that you need to propel yourself into the next level of your career is just to, to look at your personal um, how well how you appear to others how you appear to others okay um, the inner stuff is there you've got all the talents necessary you've got the skills you've got all of that but the only thing that I'm seeing here that can be improved is a, a little bit of the outer. Um, again, nothing major. I just feel like it's it's just a cosmetic things for for most of you. Maybe just cha changing up changing up your look or something like that. that. Now that won't be for everyone. Of course, some of you are very happy. That's only for that's only for the people who 
resonate with that image that I had in my mind there of somebody looking in the mirror and not liking uh, what was being shown to them. Um, now, it's not, it's not someone who has bad self-esteem, no. It's not that, guys. It's just somebody saying, you know, I, I just need to get my hair cut or I just need to buy a new outfit. It's, it's you know, it's nothing too um, deep there, guys. So I just want to make that clear. Because you have a strong inner core, again. So you, it's not like you're going to that place of um, lacking confidence within yourself. No, you have uh, you have great confidence in what you do. And... You, in, and um, <clears throat> things tend to come a little bit easy for you Aries so you're going to attract uh, you're probably going to attract some haters because of that but you are again you are protected from that hate that may be being directed to to you um, with that card of listen of the devil yeah with this card of listen Sometimes you, you, you don't listen. Sometimes you don't like to listen. You don't want to hear. But Spirit is saying, listen up, Aries. You know, I'm, I'm going to be the bearer of some news here that you probably won't like. But Spirit is saying that um, if you can tone down... Okay, I'm getting an energy. You, you're very powerful. You're, you're very, very powerful, but it can turn very quickly into something that uh, people will be repelled by and that's anger, uh, ego, arrogance, the flip side of Aries and you, you know what they are, you, I feel that you know yourself, you know, you know what those things are, those things that you look in the mirror and you don't really like about yourself that are in that are part of you okay so now I am talking more about uh, an Aries here who is looking a bit deeper some of you haven't wanted to look deeply at yourself in the mirror and have focused on more of the superficial things but now that you've looked at that it may be time to look at and go a little bit deeper at the, the dark side the shadow side and we all have it Every single one of us has a shadow side. This is that creeping self-doubt. Uh, this, this is the, the, these are the things that keep you up at night. These are the, uh, the if you think of yourself in a, in a house that has uh, many different sounds at night, lots of creaks, lots of, um, lots of um, settling noises or unsettling noises. It's the things that unsettle you, the things that, that make you feel turbulent, uh, overwhelmed. Uh, those are the things that make you react with anger, frustration, uh, doubt yourself. Listen, listen to those voices, listen to them when they come to the fore and see what the trigger is. I feel it has something to do with... Um, people triggering you triggering your, your sense of, of uh, uh, right and wrong uh, people who are trying to uh, to provoke you people are who are trying to prod you into a reaction people who don't want to see the best for you Aries see when you're doing so well and you've got this spirit of enchantment around you and you're being propelled forward like into the stratosphere I get you're going to have people that are not, not going to be so happy about that and they're going to want to provoke you into this state of being so whose voice are you going to listen to? spirit's voice this light energy this enchanting voice this, this voice of I am I am lucky I I am someone here who has chosen for, for great things I am the one here who will uh, continue to be prosperous to achieve to be very successful or are you gonna listen to the devil here which are all the haters there and in, in the in the uh, 
uh, those those ghosts in the closet that are that are that are rattling rattling the uh, rattling the the chains in, in there, saying, "Listen to me." No, spirit is saying, "Don't listen to them. Don't listen to those voices. Make sure that yes, listen, but make sure you listen to the voices that are." Make sure you listen to the voices that give you confidence, that boost you. Yeah, because with the, with this inner core, if you have a strong inner core here of self-belief, trust and faith in your own abilities as the magician, then any external voice and any other thing that tries to come in and tells you that you're wrong, you know. You know that it isn't. It isn't. It isn't. I get you rejecting anything that comes your way that is a barb that is meant to hurt, to restrict you. Um, you know, this is an energy of protection around you. It's like you've got this uh, you've got this hidden protection around you where this this if you think of this brownie uh, as coming out of the, the, the uh, I'm going to use the house analogy again when you when you're hearing all those noises at night and and you and you're listening and you think oh gosh uh, this is going to hurt me that this is going to harm me I don't feel safe Remember, you've got this, this brownie as protection and it's there, it's patrolling that house at night and you know what it's doing? It's keeping you safe from harm. So this is something that's within you. And it's this strong inner core here, Aries, that is protecting you from outside harm, outside influences. And it's like this brownie is letting you know. It's letting you know that it's there and that it will protect you. You're being protected by a strong base, Spirit is saying. You're being protected by a strong base. It's your inner core and it's also an inner core of people around you who are very protective and supportive and will not let any harm come to you, Aries. Uh, it seems to be very important for people to make you feel like you are protected and supported. And I think that that's a, that's a beautiful thing. Let's take a look at this, uh, at this energy here of the heart. Okay, and the Queen of Swords, Aries, yeah, you have a heart, you know, okay, on the outside, uh, you have a very strong energy of uh, being very courageous, appearing very, um, maybe a little bit more of the, on the masculine side, I'm getting that, uh, male or female, it's, it's not gender specific. But you have this beautiful inner feminine energy. Uh, and this is your vulnerable, vulnerable side and it's that side that you feel you need to protect by perhaps showing an outside show of force or a show of uh, power or strength. But inside you're ooey gooey. You're inside you're all ooey gooey, um, you're like a Cadbury cream egg. <laughs> I just got that image in my mind. Oh, now I'm hungry. A Cadbury cream egg. Well, who wouldn't want one of those? I mean, my goodness, yeah. Um, that's all I'm getting, guys, about, uh, about yeah, you, you do have... A gentleness about you. you you know you you are easily hurt although it may appear that you that you're not um, you, you are I think it's the things that that people say the pe things that people do that they get to you and you have this beautiful pure heart Aries you do 
and uh, that's the thing that people don't realize um, why would anyone want to hurt a pure heart yeah but part of your vulnerability part of part of this sensitivity that you have here areas that you hide behind this exterior um, protect your if protection again I get protecting yourself by uh, by not showing emotions not showing not showing how things really get to you spirit says when you're alone uh, when you when you're on your own there you, it's okay to show this this vulnerability uh, when it's only the brownie there to see you I think that's when you let out uh, your more sensitive side and you have that 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 ugly cry or you or you, or you uh, when you're setting out an intention to the universe you, you tell the universe your, your deepest darkest fears here Spirit says that that's okay it's it's okay um, feel it feel it and then go out and tackle the day with your suit of armor on yeah I, I get barbs I get things being thrown at you and um, yeah you, you're gonna be able to whatever comes your way that's meant to, to hurt or harm you remember you are this this vulnerability that you have is protected it's protected it, it's it's something that uh, because of this strong inner core it's something that can't get to you now if you have that strong inner core if you know yourself if you know what you can do then anything that other people say that you can't is not going to let you get you affected like uh, perhaps it has in the past Aries and let's take a look um, one more card for my Aries with this energy of ease I just get a gentleness go easy king of cups and the moon you go easy go easy on yourself uh, there's a strong energy around you of uh, effortlessness <coughs> I think that's the reason why some people are trying to uh, to harm or attack you here Aries is because for you it seems to come easy now of course it isn't I mean you, you've had to work hard you've had to work on, on a strong base and you've got all that and there are some people who don't have that they don't have that strong inner base that they don't have that strong support that you have and these are these are the people that uh, could potentially come out and try to um, to hurt you in some way or to hurt your, your work or your career or your business but the thing is they can't they can't okay so try not to listen to the uh, the negative voices try not to, to listen to the haters try not to let them have any space in your mind and instead I get listen to uh, energies that uh, listen to your intuition because I feel that's the strongest thing this inner core of yours is telling you that you're going to be okay and you will be Aries you, you, you will be you will be absolutely fine things are going to work out um, I see a lot more success coming your way uh, I don't feel like you have plateaued I feel like that you continue to go from strength to strength in your chosen field uh, let's see what is the spell work for Aries please for the month of March okay we've got psychic abilities here yeah it's interesting isn't it trust in your psychic abilities they are strong and uh, you have with the magician you have a open clear channel of communication with uh, with spirit so let me give you the spell work with this one guys yeah I get you um, I get you need, if, if there's been anything that's been bedeviling you troubling you to the point of not being able to sleep spirit says retreat withdraw quietly 
and assess the situation from a place of calm rather than a, a, from a place of fear or f fight or flight. The magical symbol of the pentagram here will lend you its sacred sight. There's an energy around this of again being encircled in a circle of protection shielded from the harsh energy of others as your sensitivity increases see that's the thing as, as you become more and more powerful so you will be under attack from other people who are throwing barbs your way possibly psychic attack trying to get to you so you're shielded from the harsh energy of others And, and the thing is, the thing that gives you this open, clear channel also gives you this open, clear channel to, uh, to this, this negative psychic attack as well. But the thing is, your shields are up. Your shields are up here. So during a first moon quarter on a Saturday, sprinkle a circle of salt around you at midnight. Hold a lit black candle in one hand as you face north and a grounding piece of black tourmaline crystal in the other and say, star of protection, a circle of salt. Surround and safeguard me from any default. Guard me from danger, gossip and hurt, from those who may curse me and dish out the dirt. I call upon the elements, five, preserve my intentions so I can survive. Standing within, I lift up my arms. Black candle and crystal now banishes harm. Keep safe and defend my energy flow as I raise my vibration, allow me to grow. Now out of danger, protection in place, magical work now safe to embrace. Now blow out the black candle, step carefully out of the circle and say, Gratefully I accept the magic of you, of protection to assist in all that I do. Lend me the courage, build power in me, assist my transcendence, so mote it be. So surround yourself with positive energy. Imagine yourself surrounded by a circle of light, a circle of protection, and ground yourself with this, knowing that you have a solid base and a solid in, inner core here that is going to protect you from any kind of uh, negative influence or harm uh, that you feel could be endangering you in, in, some, in some form here. Area. So I'm going to leave it there and wish you all the very best with this. If you'd like a personal reading, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com, or, uh, or you can go to my Etsy channel. The link is down below, Gypsy Insights Tarot. Please do take a moment to press that thumbs up button. Drop me a, uh, a, com a comment below. Share me on your social media if you know an Aries that this will resonate with. And if you're a newcomer, I would love to have you subscribe. Thank you, Aries. Please do take care and bye for now.